My name is Caroline and I'm 12 years old. The skill I'm going to be sharing with you today is measure. To practice this skill, we will be making a blueberry muffin in a mug. This blueberry muffin in a mug is adapted from a Celebrate Your Plate recipe. You can get this recipe at CelebrateYourPlate.org. The first step in this is if you have long hair, make sure to put your hair into a ponytail so you don't get hair in your muffin. And we're going to wash our hands with warm soaping water for 20 seconds. Supplies we will need include a microwave safe mug, a liquid measuring cup, measuring spoons, measuring cups. We'll gather all of our ingredients before we start, and our ingredients include all purpose flour, brown sugar, salt, baking powder, ground cinnamon, and extra virgin olive oil. First, we will use our flour. We need a third cup of all-purpose flour. What I'm gonna do is fill it all the way up like so. Now I'm using a knife, it's very flat. You just need something with a flat edge. Um, you're going to set that on there and you're gonna go all the way across so that your extra flour and you have exactly a third cup. And we're gonna pour this right into our mug. Then we are going to do a tablespoon of brown sugar. Or tablespoon over the top. For brown sugar, you push it down so you get all the brown sugar in there. And then go over the top. Put that in there. Next, we have a eighth teaspoon of salt. And for the salt, we're going to measure over something else. So we're going to go over that because when you pour it, a lot of extra will come out and it's going to go into the mug and then you don't have an eighth teaspoon. You'll have more than that. So that's why we want to measure like this. So I fill up a lot. But let's put my like so. Next, we have a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Um, you can use your knife um, for this or your back of your spoon. Or some cans you may have have an edge like this one here and it's kind of like the edge of the knife you go up so I fill it up and then I go on the edge there and pull it up and it's all out and I got a fourth teaspoon and finally we just have a pinch of cinnamon it's kind of hard for mine and put some cinnamon in there now I, I will use my spoon to um, stir our dry ingredients together until there's no chunks of brown sugar. Okay, next we're going to mix in our olive oil. For olive oil, we need one and one eighth teaspoon. For um, olive oil and wet ingredients like this, we're gonna pour it over a separate dish, kinda like I did with our salt. And we're gonna do our eighth teaspoon. After we add the oil, we are going to stir this together so there are no chunks anywhere. Next, we're going to measure our milk. For milk, you need a liquid measuring cup like this one. We are going to go to a fourth. In order to measure this well, we need to go down low so you're at eye level with our fourth so you can see exactly and as you pour the milk, it gets to there. So we're gonna pour it, there we go. And now we're gonna pour this into our mug. Now we mix it all together, there are no chunks. Finally, we get to add our blueberries. So we are going to do two tablespoons, kinda just fill it up. So now we're just gonna use our spoon, to stir this together. Now we are going to microwave our muffin. We are going to microwave it for two minutes. Um, warning, when you take it out, it's going to be hot. So use a pot holder or let it sit in there for a little bit. So, two, here we go. Okay, so we are going to finally top it with blueberries. So I'm using my fingers to wash my hands to fill the half cup up. 
we have finished. Let me show you here. There it is. Now you can enjoy. Thank you.